Welcome to Comic Toe Reviews, and this is a review on Drax, part of the New Marvel Legends line. This figure looks to be one of the easier figures to find in this wave. Because Marvel's Drax, this super strong titan lives for one thing, destruction. He is in series 2 of the Return of Marvel Legends. I'll show you what else he has. He has just a sheet of paper and it shows you how to build Arnim Zola and it's tales of Arnim Zola. And you got the left leg of Arnim Zola, separate review on this channel. And right away, this character is in his modern costume and it's so different than what I'm familiar with. Drax originally or was called Drax the Destroyer. He was a character that wore like a superhero type of costume with a cape. In recent years they've I guess reinterpreted the character. Now he just kinda looks like an ordinary guy with pants and red tattoos and carrying these knives. And he just looks uh, basically two things. He is the peg warmer of wave two. If you're you're looking for wave two this is probably the character that's going to be last on the shelf bought. And uh, the costume looks very uh, plain. And I'm actually surprised that this character got made to be honest. Uh, I really didn't see that much of a demand for the character or that much of a following that this character would get an action figure made. It's a pretty obscure choice. And right away, if you're not building on Zola, uh, this figure is probably not going to be bought by many fans other than those who are big time Marvel fans. It's, uh, I thought if they were going to make a Drax, they probably should have went with the superhero costume version that more people are familiar with. But this one, he just kind of looks like a knife uh, carrying, uh, brutal type of butcher of a character. I'll just get to the details first on the character here. He does carry these weapons well. The grip is kind of tough to put on and off uh, on the figure, the weapons. Uh, Right here, it is a uniquely sculpted blade. And at least they made black the hilt. And gray or metal color the blade. On the belt here, you can put the weapons. So it's pretty nice that Drax over here can hold his weapons on the sides here. So that's nice. You could check it out. And the belt does look uh, uniquely sculpted here, but it does move around. He also has a blade right here on the wrist, but don't be fooled, it's just sculpted on. You cannot remove this blade on the wrist that's tied up. That's part of the sculpt. To, uh, just to make this review a little easier, I'm going to take the weapons out over here. And I'll just show you the details here. You see it has various red uh, markings all over the body. Kind of like tattoos. Even the eyes here have uh, red under the eyes there. And uh, even has some of these red markings on his pants. Other than the upper body which is green and these markings. He's just wearing like some blue pants. And uh, black boots. It's up. Uh, pretty plain as you could tell and I guess not being a popular character and wearing a plain costume is it any question that this guy is the peg warmer of series 2 uh, on with the articulation nice down and up uh, side to side posing works well plus you add that serious uh, face sculpt uh, this is a character that I guess other characters wouldn't want to mess with. You could go 
side to side, up and down, it's ball jointed, upper bicep cut, has the double elbows, has the articulation right here, right above the glove top here, really well. The left hand is an open grip to hold his weapon, same with the right hand. Upper torso, got articulation, got the waist articulation here, has the ball jointed articulation, side to side, up and down, upper thigh cuts, has double knees, no articulation at the lower area here, but the boot area can go side to side and can go up and down. Same here, side to side, up and down. If you couldn't tell already in this review, I think it's an odd choice that they made this figure for Marvel Legends. Not a particular fan favorite or, or this costume version of him. He is the character that will be easy to find. And if not for the Arnhem Zola Build-A-Figure piece, I think you would see a lot more of this character on the shelves. Not a must get, uh, but just an average figure overall. But the articulation is really good, surprisingly. So that's my review. Thanks for watching, and talk to you later. Hey Drax, the Avengers are calling. But since you're not an Avenger, you don't have to answer the call. And if you did call the Avengers, we wouldn't pick up the phone.